In this video, we'll look at the number of lone pairs on CO2. This is carbon dioxide. So we have this Lewis structure here for carbon dioxide, and this is the best or most favorable Lewis structure. If you check the formal charges, they're zero for each element. If you need help with drawing Lewis structure or formal charges, there's a link in the description. So when we count the lone pairs, when we look at carbon here, this carbon, it has double bonds. And these double bonds, each one of these lines is a pair of electrons. So for the carbon, all of the electrons, they're involved in chemical bonds. There are no lone pairs for the carbon. And carbon, it has an octet, two, four, six, eight. They're just all involved in chemical bonds. They're shared between the atoms. If we look at the oxygens though, they have the double bond with the carbon. So there's a pair of electrons, there's a pair of electrons shared. And then these here are the lone pairs, one, two. So this oxygen has two lone pairs and then two pairs of electrons involved in the bond. So overall, it has an octet as well, two, four, six, eight. This oxygen over here, it's symmetrical, so the same thing. If we looked at the molecular geometry for carbon dioxide, CO2 here, you'd see that you have an oxygen on this side and then on the other side. These oxygens will push as far away as they can from each other, so they'll spread out. And really, the only way to do that is a straight line. So this is a linear molecular geometry. If we had a lone pair of electrons here on the carbon, that would affect the molecular geometry. That would push the oxygens down and change the molecular geometry. But since there are no lone pairs here and we only have two atoms, molecular geometry is considered linear. The electron geometry, it's linear as well. There's no lone pairs here on the carbon. So the electron and the molecular geometry for CO2 are the same. So to recap for CO2, when we talk about lone pairs on the carbon, there aren't any lone pairs. All the electrons are involved in chemical bonds, but on the oxygen, we have two lone pairs. Same over here. This is Dr. V with the number of lone pairs for CO2, carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching.